What is baptism? In simple terms, being baptized is like putting on a wedding ring. It's a response to a loved one and an outward symbol of an inward commitment. Baptism is a way for us to express a personal decision to believe and accept the salvation of God through Jesus Christ. Just as Christ was crucified and buried, we are immersed in water to symbolize the burial of our old ways. And again, just as Christ was raised from the dead, we are also raised out of the water, symbolizing our new life in Christ. The Apostle Paul said it this way, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Today we celebrate with people as they take their next step and tell the world how Jesus has changed their lives. Olivia Powell, and I want to be baptized today primarily to just fully embrace the new creation that I know I am uh, in Jesus. So growing up, I always knew about God and Jesus, um, but not really about a relationship with Him. So I knew about like the things not to do and kind of those morals that you get instilled in you as a kid, like don't lie and um, all that kind of stuff. And, and I kind of loosely knew a direction I should follow if I were to follow God, um, but I kind of viewed that more as an option about that I didn't really know whether that was the way to go for, for me personally. Throughout high school, um, I had started to go to a Christian camp and learning more about what a relationship with Jesus looked like, but at the same time, you know, in high school you're kind of searching for yourself and I was looking for kind of worth, my self-worth in my school performance and getting straight A's and being involved in a bunch of clubs and you know all the things you'd put on a college application and, and they'd say whether you're <clears throat> worth enough to be accepted into that college um, and I was also looking for my worth in guys and in relationships with boys so kind of the event in high school that prompted me pursuing God was a breakup um, it wasn't even that serious of a relationship but uh, the guy had cheated on me and then he told me about it and I just remember like I was so stubborn about it that like through my own power I could I could make anything happen so I I even told him like you know I can forgive you like it's totally within my power to forgive you and we can stay together and you know we can make this work and I can not you know I didn't say this but I could not be alone which I didn't want to be um, and he, he said no, you know, he, he basically insinuated that like he wasn't good for me and so we didn't stay together. Um, so that's kind of what prompted my belief that like I could try anything and things aren't completely in my control. So I wanted to give control over to God more um, and I just like prompted a bunch of changes in my life. Um, I started to go to Grace. I joined a screamo band, which actually my husband was in, so that's how I got to know him. Um, and it was really just a new beginning um, that was prompted by God revealing to me that, you know, no matter what I try, like I can't control my own circumstances in my life. You know, since then I've become more involved at Grace and more involved in a life group, and I've kind of had friends um, and my husband come alongside me um, and really fortify me and give me more confidence in that relationship. Um, and now through, you know, becoming a mom um, and I just want to fully embrace that new creation that I am. Jesus to me is incredibly patient. Um, He's been so patient with me through my ups and downs. I've had times when I've been close with him, times where I've fallen away from him, times when, you know, I was in close community with him and times when I was indifferent to him. And, you know, his, his mercies are new every morning. And also Jesus to me is freedom, um, just freedom from myself, freedom from 
the walls around my heart that were primarily built of pride, um, just freedom to be a new creation and God will lead me and being in a relationship with him is the most worthwhile use of my life and my time. Because of your profession and faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Let me pray for Olivia. Dear Lord, thank you for giving me such a wonderful wife who has dedicated her life to you. I pray that you would continue to grow her spiritually as my wife, as a mother, and as a friend. You have already molded her quite a bit, and I just pray that you would surround her with loving family so that she doesn't stray from that path, Lord. You're a good father, and you're, you're always watching out for us. We love you. In Jesus' name. <laughs>